All right, everybody, my family tree, the Stewarts in Morrisville, Illinois, during the 1960s, part one. Here we are, flying over Morrisville. This is dedicated to Aunt Carol. She took care of me and Vanessa when we visited July 2021, and she let me use her reel-to-reel -reel films from 1963, film to 1965. Here's our family tree, Ancestry.com. And in this episode, you're going to see... Uncle Jim and Aunt Carol, and cousins Vicky and Greg, and you'll see a little bit of me and Travis in it, and my mom in the 1960s, and Uncle Dale and Aunt Melly, and then way over here, my great uncle Alfred, he is in it as well. Here we go, get used to this. Greg is armed, it was the Cold War, and all kids under the age of 10 needed to be armed at all times. And there's Vicky, she's always cooking or cleaning or heating something up with her kitchen sets. Now, if you go to Disney Springs in Orlando, Florida, you will see all kinds of just super cool boats, antique boats. You can go in there for free and look at all that stuff. It is really cool. And they sell all these little metal, toy, electric outboard motors. And they sell them for hundreds of dollars. And there's just so many of them. And this is cool because Greg got one. And uh, look at that. It's got like, what, a little white Evan Root on the back or something. Really kind of cool to see. It must have been a total blast to, uh, to play with. I'd never seen one of those until I went to Disney Springs a couple years ago. But Greg got one. Here is his little pool billiard set, and he's playing some kind of made-up game here. And uh, oddly enough, Bruce Springsteen talks about having one of these little sets in his room when he was a kid in his autobiography. And he's got some stories about it, which I thought was kind of funny. This little blue metal box here holding Uncle Jim's films, I have that box now. It's in my closet. So it's kind of neat to see that. It's 60 years old, but I have it. All right, classic Christmas scene, paper and stuff everywhere. Oh, there's another toy gun. Greg is nowhere to be found, though. Looks like somebody got a guitar. And uh, But sure enough, it just takes a little bit. And then Greg has the gun. And he's smiling. Look, he's staring straight. <laughs> it's always, he's so happy when he's got a gun in there. A lot of film of Greg holding toy guns. Oh, this is great. Look at this thing. Red fire truck, all metal. White wall tires, pedal car, classic Americana toy. Greg has a hard time getting out, though. He tries. Took him a little bit. There's my mom. Box of Scooter Pie. And that was named after Phil Rizzuto. Some baseball player, encyclopedias before Google. Those were everywhere. That's how you learn stuff. Vicky on the rocking horse. Springs just begging to rip somebody's fingers off. And there's Greg holding it. <laughs> so he does it. I was, he doesn't get hurt, but you think he is. He lets go. You're relieved. And then he goes right back and grabs it with both hands. <laughs> All right, here's another level of pain here. He's putting this stuff together. You got the directions, probably in Japanese. And then you got to fold the cardboard and get out the little doodads and the attachments and the screws and the washers and all that and put it together. And then uh, here's Aunt Carol picking up all the little doodads off the carpet because Greg here is in the perfect age to pick stuff up off the carpet and eat it. <laughs> and there's Vicky. And she's always, here she is, cleaning and all that <laughs> cleaning and uh, cooking. She's got the sink and the stove and the oven and the refrigerator. Really nice setup here for her. There's an H3 Pelican helicopter, brand new at the time. The Coast Guard had these in 1994 when they got finally got rid of them. But at the time, this helicopter here is pretty much brand new. So the Beatles they come to the United States on February 7th, 1964. But George Harrison actually went to go visit his sister in Benton, Illinois, in September 1963. There's all kinds of plaques and internet stuff about, about the first Beatle to come to the United States. Two hours uh, the south is Mount Vernon, 
and he bought this guitar, had it painted black so it would match John Lennon's. He goes home the next day, Ready, Steady, Go TV program, 1963, and he plays that guitar. And there he is. He lived in London, but he got his guitar in Mount Vernon, Illinois, of all places. Anyway, just kind of neat trivia there. And here is Vicki uh, with her Beatles t-shirt on. My grandpa actually said it. She told me about how much she liked the Beatles and talked about them all the time. So a pretty cool shirt to have. Uh-oh. Easter. Somebody got a long rifle with a scope. Who could it be? There's Greg. <laughs> He's out getting eggs. There's my Aunt Melly. She's there. That's my grandpa's farm. He gets an egg. He wants to show it to somebody. No, nope, don't take my egg. Puts it back in the basket. Here he is walking with the barrel pointing down for safety. <laughs> Here comes my Uncle Dale. Uncle Dale's going to go back, pick up the uh, pick up the spare for uh, for Greg. There you go. All right, C-47 Strato Freighter. This is so cool. I wish we had some sound. I'd love to hear it taken off. But this is some really cool old aviation type stuff um, that I really enjoy to see. Here's an F-84 Thunderstreak, uh, old jet airplane, and again, some more video of it taking off. And I'm really glad that Uncle Jim shot that. All right, two-handed pickup of a solid steel um, Tonka truck. First or second year it came out. Um, very iconic toy. The tires at the point are, at this point, are a solid rubber, and it was made in Minneapolis. All right, uh, I think that's it. I'll see you guys later.